Right, here we have a uh, Massey Ferguson 3125. Uh, not too bad of condition, but uh, she's got some serious issues in the gearbox department. A great big hole in here. So the problem with this tractor in the beginning was it wouldn't change into high in either way. Um, speed shift wasn't working. Um, the high and low on the other stick wasn't working. So uh, I decided to put the power to the solenoid. Um, bottom one, very bottom one. Is for the speed shift. The bit of red tab. I reword that. That didn't help. And then I found this little guy. This yellow fella was corroded, and the plug was corroded. So they're just temporary in there. I'm gonna fix another wire because there's other issues with uh, Datatronic, and you can't really see it with my camera. But some of those connectors are a bit furry, a bit green. And some of the connectors in here are a little bit bad. Uh, you see the colours, not good. Uh, the connector here is for the fuel, not good. I can't be making good contact. And a few other little old things. That one, and the red one is for this guy here, which is um, a Datatronic. Yeah. That's in there. Right, so here's your main piston. That's actually a piston. This pushes out on this guy. It's a clutch, valve of spring, engages and disengages. That's all okay. Disc is in good order. Uh, not too much wrong with that. Here's the real problem roller bearings. Don't exist anymore. They're gone. This is this one. This is the roller. And in turn, let's put a good bit of wear on these teeth. You can feel it. It's not very good. I wouldn't be happy using that again. Um, these are planet gears. So your speed shift, you go from running to from walk into running. It's a little button on the dash. You can press it on the go. It's a power shift device. Um, and what that does is it engages these clutches. And depending on which one you select, and the pressure's on, you're in low, so you're on the low one. You transfer power to that one. And when you're in high, it transfers to that one. And through that planetary set, and back through the center of this reduction for that this here is just your forward reverse so both of these gears are sitting on the other gear in the tractor to transfer the power so depending on which way it goes it can go straight through here up and across to that one or just straight into this one so this one here is attached so when it's bound, it's like that. So that's all there is to see there. Now, this guy is also damaged. So here you have another piston. This, this actuates your clutches, which you can see are in bits. Absolute pieces. Uh, one of them is in kind of half decent shape. All the other bits are there. Uh, so that is gone. Good luck. Never work again. That's not the end of the problem. The other problem is this guy here. We can take that. Out. This is showing up low oil pressure on the dashboard. So. 
what you have is between these two rings there's an oil gallery and that's where it gets its pressure to operate the clutch back in this and this guy and actually this side you can see there's holes in here and you can see where the two rings slide now the problem is this one lost our pressure so now we have a nice little deep score going on here it's actually here that's really bad and in turn there is really bad that's been running on that dry now well it will have oil but not much i'll just put that back on and i'll show you what happens is now your oil can slip out through that gap really easy so that is wrecked so this part is scrap this part is scrap because this is also run dry now this although this ain't too bad there is a bit bit of a bit of that there is a bit I put a bit too much on that so that's wrecked and in turn that spins on this shaft in here and he is also quite badly wrecked so you can't see with the camera really that great but there is quite a step there now it's a good half a millimetre or more so this shaft is wrecked so this shaft this clutch these actually as it happens are okay but they're not worth a damn now and when this was put back together somebody put a disc on that side and that's not right you should have a pressure plate because that piston will push up here then you have a disc then you have kind of an anti rattly swing but it's, it's just for um, keeping that disc in place and keeping them apart when they're not engaged so it keeps them loose and then you have another steel blade your other disc another one of these thingies and then you have another disc on top of that and what it would look like inside is this right there so, it would actually look like that if I put a piece of that between them it would look more like that it didn't look like that so that's where I am with the Massey at the moment um, just had to get on the phone now. You can even see her, her wobbling and striking the, the housing. That's okay. Uh, other indications was when I drained the oil, I just drained enough to get out the box, and it's quite metallic looking. New looking oil, but it's, it's bad. Um, not the last, last but not least, is the clutch. The clutch was in a pretty bad way, um, disintegrated, and this, to be fair now, there's a lot of fractures and a lot of cracks in it, and it ain't round, it's not flat across here anymore, so if I get a new disc, it's only going to be touching it in points, and that's going to slip, and that's going to not last very long. So the plan is I might try and get this resurfaced and send it to the machine shop local guy and get them to run the lathe and whatever to take off here they're going to have to take off here because this is the part where the pressure plate will land and if they take too much off here then the pressure plate ain't going to not apply enough pressure also I have to get a new PTO shaft PTO shaft is 
very worn. It's half worn anyway. Just not happy with it. And then we're going to clean up all this tractor. Hopefully restore it to a once former glory. It's pretty dirty. Nice big turbo. There's six cylinder Parker's engine. 126 brake horsepower there thereabouts. Probably a lot of them alive now because uh, it's a decent enough tractor. Um, the cab needs sorting. Little bits of rust everywhere, but not bad at all. Not bad at all. The worst bit is on this, on this door here. That's going to have to be cut out and replaced. And the other worst bit is wings. Uh, um, they have to come off. They can be bought there, not, not here. And the cab itself. Two hour the tractor. Um, seat isn't good, Nick. Not bad. Missing its filling seat, but I have one of them ordered. Um, nice little 1980s phone holder. 1990s phone holder. Uh, very good roofing. Uh, cloth is very, very good condition. Um, windscreen is perfect. Windows, glass, perfect. The floor is all good. Um, handbrake don't work. That's the another project. Uh, do a little bit of tidying, a little bit of cleaning. It's a bit dirty. But um, this is the speed shift device. Or sorry, this is the speed shift. So there's your on off buttons. Um, <coughs> that operates this guy in the dash. So you have your two, um, your running man and your walking man, we call it. Uh, that's your speed shift. You just hit that button and away she goes. Um, then you have your hair and your tortoise, which is on your stick. Now this one is click, click. Let's say change that and he will change this guy. Uh, when I bought the tractor, it was first, second, third, fourth, perfect. Um, but it wouldn't change into high on the stick and it wouldn't change into high here. And nothing registering on the dash, only just low speed. So at this light here, um, yeah, this one, that one will come on. Or no, this one, sorry, this one here. Um, he's low oil pressure. So that indicates that there's oil escaping too fast from those little seals. So that's pretty much it for the tractor. Nice little blob punt, uh, genuine stereo. Uh, but this is not working, these are all, yeah. Um, that's turning alright, but it doesn't feel like it's doing a lot. It's certainly going on and off. But that's working. Uh, quite a cool little can holder uh, for your air conditioning. You can put your can of coke in there or your can of beer, whichever you want. If you're allowed to drink beer. Lights going off. Uh, this guy, a little bit of rust around here. It's got to be done. Because uh, that's damp, a little bit damp. There's another, another roof over the top of that. A few rust spots. It also bolts off. So, that'll be done. Um, back of the tractor, everything else seems to be working pretty good. Your PTO. Yeah. Not much else to say or see on the tractor. Um, as you can see, it's in pretty decent condition. Put the speaker back in. Get all these things working. There's a few lights weren't working on it. You have your, your sunscreen. Up it goes. All oh, these are all working. All the lights are working on it. Uh, the windows are opening and closing. That door is perfect. These seals do go. And it has been done at one time and this quite badly. It's not very step, so that's going to be done again. Um, Probably be taking the doors off the tractor and dig the glass out. Same with the windscreen, just take the whole out and sort all these little rust spots inside the cab. is very good though compared to some of the other muck I've seen. Uh, all the glass there, as you can see, 